Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today, uh, I have you looking at this uh, picture here. I've started a new journal. And uh, I had this crazy idea to do like a grunge type of graffiti type background. And I started on it and I just kept adding layers and layers. And I don't even know if I can recreate this. But... Uh, I had another idea. Uh, so this one here, well, before I get into the collage, uh, this one here, all I'm doing is taking like three different colors, and this is gray, and you can see the light blue, which is uh, light blue violet, and brilliant yellow green, and the gray. And I don't know what I did with it. Here it is. It's neutral gray. And all I did was put like three little blobs on the thing and just took the brayer and just kept going back and forth. And just, you know, trying to put in some backgrounds to do the grunge on or the effect of like graffiti. And this here is just a bunch of uh, the dilution sprays and plus I started this new journal and what I've, I'm doing now is taking out all the center uh, signatures so I can make a whole new journal with like a cereal box and that way you know I won't be ripping out this and you know you'll get twice the journals so today I thought about what if I did a grunge background but with an off-white uh, theme so instead of uh, you know starting off with the other I wonder if I should use this old brush I wanted a uh, kind of like white background but not totally white background And we'll just see where this goes. You can see I'm using the old, the brush that I've already used. So it's got a little bit of some paint left in it. And I thought that I would maybe do uh, some splats and just see how that turned out. I guess I really don't have to uh, get it 100% covered. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of water, dip this in my black watercolor paint, and I'm going to try that out first and see how that does and splat some on. And I like that, how that does. Need a little more water. I think I want to go around a little bit more splats. Okay, I think that's good enough. Okay, so I've dumped me a little bit of black, a little bit of the green, light blue, and some of that violet blue. And I think I want to kind of do some grunge letters. We'll see how this does. 
Let's see if I remember. Um, I think I might have too much paint on my thing, but... This is a Tim Holtz stencil. And... Take some of the light blue. And I'm still using the same sponge as I did up there. And I think I want to do some green. Put some green across here. And then I think I want to put some black across here somehow. And I'll go ahead and use this green one. And let's see. It's really hit or miss. I think I'll use the stencil that I made, you know, I laminated a Dina Wakely page that had like the little boomerang uh, thing on it. And then I, you know, cut it out with a knife. Okay, and like I did on my last page, I went around the edge to grunge it up more. Oh, and another thing I did, I'll have to flip back to it. But I had taken some, uh, been working uh, with my Dina Wakely book after I was running off a bunch of pages and then someone had commented on my Dina Wakely book and then I thought, well, heck, I could be using the Dina Wakely pages uh, for my, my background. Yeah, I think I got it a smidgen dark up there. But I had taken... Uh, I don't know if, yeah, you can see uh, Dina Wakely. Uh, well, this come out of the book, of course, but a tag. And then here's a scrap piece, a scrap piece, or a scrap piece here. A couple scrap pieces up here. And glued those down. And then, you know, went around them with my Stabilo. And I guess we may do that over here. Okay, so I pulled some scrap pieces out that look graffiti-ish. So I'm going to tear some off and we're going to glue those down. And maybe part of this face.
and might use that somewhere. Part of this. I will tear the edge. And just a you know some pieces from that and this here kind of looks graffiti ish I'll just throw that down I'm gonna take this same brush uh, let's see no I can't use that same brush Just glue them all down really good. Really make it look like a just graffiti ish. Probably should have waited till I got all that down and then, you know, hit it with the, the black dots, but we'll. Maybe go back over that again. I wonder if I should use um, let's see what did I do with my water if I can. Maybe give it some purple dots or purple splats. Let's try to put on some green splats. don't think the green's showing up that well. Okay. I think I need to put a little more glue under this one. Okay. Okay, and like the other one over here, um, you know, I went around uh, with my Stabilo So let's do a little bit of that. Let's make it look even more grungier. Yes, if you wanted it to draw around some of the numbers, you could. Sort of grungy like. I 
Now I've already picked out some pictures that I uh, got off of uh, Pinterest. I noticed I have to always sharpen my stabilo a lot. It does. I do press down uh, a little bit hard with it. Okay. Okay, so another thing I've done over here, I took this... Uh, Dilution Shimmer Spray White, and you can see I've splatted over the the dark, and I've let that dry just to give it another element. I think I'll take my little. Uh, this is the brush I had my my glue on. And just sort of smear this around a little bit. Just to grunge things up a little more. Here's Augie Doggy in here. Okay, and then um, go ahead. I guess I can put my my pictures down. Guess we'll go ahead and use this out of this brush. picture may cover this whole thing up right here see if I can move it over a little bit where it won't completely cover that up And then um, I have these fishies that, you know, they look like, uh, you know, with the bones in them or whatever. So I, I'm going to cut those up and go ahead and put those on. And so anyone won't have to sit here and watch me just cut up a bunch of fish. We can go ahead and lay that one down. So one I've already cut up here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. And I'm going to cut these up and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I did my two fishies here. And put them down. And I think I'm about finished. I don't know that I want to go over anything else, or I don't know. I may or may not. Don't know, but um, I think I like. I know how it's a little bit bare up in this corner, but I think for the most part, I like it, and it's supposed to be a take on my grunge and uh, graffiti-ish. So, I hope you liked today's video. If you could, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And as always, see you tomorrow.